So Karen Gibbs about four hours ago caught this and you would think it's a bug on the window. Now the trout's pretty cool. Let me actually show you what's going on, okay? So let me go to my, uh, this is called a maximizer. It's made by Impixio and you can't see it on here. I'm not showing it, but I'm going to bring it up to, uh, I brought it up to right there. 7,600. Okay, guys, the first thing I'm going to do on here, I'm going to go to the magnifier. I don't usually show this, but I'm going to show it to you. And it just magnifies it up to eight times. And this is already um, like 3K. So you can see clearly, you can't get any closer, but you can see it. This is the original picture. <clears throat> so here we go. I go look at this clip art, silhouette art, simple art, transparent art, and you know, I'm looking for a bug in flight. I don't know. So I start looking everywhere, guys. I can, on the side here, I'm looking. And, you know, I go to the butterflies in flight. Nothing looks like it. I go to this guy right here. These are more like, I don't know, spidery looking things. Nothing matches this, what looks like a bug in the sky. If you find it, you can dispute it. Okay, but I can't find the wing type or the white head so watch so you can see but also um i want you to notice a couple things it looks like a foot here okay going up like a leg okay going up it's like a leg right there and a leg right there and i don't know that guy's face is like the ninja demon I mean, come on, just look at, at that for just a second and tell me that don't look like some ninja demon being in a cloud. Okay, I'm going to leave it still. Let me take it back. Look at that thing with your eyes. Okay, now, I want to go back up here and I want you to look at the picture in the square. And that is like a ninja demon with a tight headband. He probably has a little Fu Manchu going on there. Looks a little oriental, but you know, it could be totally Anunnaki. Right, that's just one I wanted to show you. Now the other craziness I want to show you is this one it has purple. And um you know, I don't know what that is. It looks like a face before, but now I don't. It looks like I don't know what it is. Anyways, that's the back of something. This down here looks like a hoof of a foot and a bend of a knee of a horse. Okay, let's say it is. Where's his other foot? Maybe that right there is it? The one up behind him? But then you got this what looks like an arch of a man with a knee maybe there and going up. Maybe something right here. Coming down. Some very strange pictures these days. Anyways. You can see a lot of this kind of stuff. Fight not against flesh, but we fight against the principality's power and the spiritual wickedness in high places. Now I'm going to take you on a, um, a journey on this one. I'm going to go to a level sweep. What this takes the light out changes your opacity. You know, that's what you're looking at. This object is so, it's so man made looking. Um, it's almost like one of those whirly birds you shoot up for the kids and it has a little whirly bird on the, on the end. But check this thing out as we get darker. Other the details. Uh, but that ain't no bug. That's bug. That ain't no eagle, but if you took a fast look, you might say, Oh, look at that head. It looks like an eagle's head. Meanwhile, up here, he's still got this creature there. This crazy creature up here. See, we fight not against flesh and blood. These kind of principalities, power to spiritual wickedness, I rebuke. I bind them. And I take authority over in Jesus' name. They speak wicked stuff. Um... I don't know exactly where these were taken, but I'd be praying if I seen something like that after. You know, you might not have seen it, but now you see it. This is when you learn how to pray. You just learn how to pray. 
I'm just checking out all these clouds. There's stuff around them in them. This is the big concern right there. That looks like a man-made or alien-made or whatever kind of a craft. Right. Let me see. Luminous. Okay. Now, when something's real on this thing, see that right there? Something's actually not a glare or a flare or whatever. You could actually guarantee you this flying missile. There ain't no bug. Nope, nope, nope. That's what happens like a mix the two. You can see exactly. This thing is before the clouds. See how the clouds are all flat? But now look at uh, old Ninja Boy up here. He's still got a whole lot of impression. And whatever demon that is. But that foot still comes out pretty heavy. That's like the hoof of the foot right there. That too. But this thing is clearly not a bug. It's pretty big. Um, there's some junk right there. If you take it all the way back, it'll still give you that luminous look. Now go real intense. Um, I want you to see the structure of this cloud. Look at this thing up there. Anyways, folks. That's what you got. And you got your magnifier. I'm going to do magnify by contrast channel. Which will give... It will separate the colors on this deal and um, look this comes out black and white wow that's weird contrast comes out in light color um, then there's histogram which is there you go I just want you to see that on the histogram I waited to the end to show you that pretty amazing and then the ninja, you can see how the cloud is separate. It's not like it's just misty. Okay, look at that again. Just your eyes. Let's go down here. Look at something. I haven't even looked down here yet. Look at that. Well, I don't know what that stuff is. But you see how histogram equalization is going to separate um, if the object has color. Obviously, there's something going on. These are the in-between parts. What's really going on? What they're really... You know, if they're hiding something, if these are cloaked clouds or whatever they might be, you know, I'm not saying they are. I'm just saying, you know, it's pretty wild stuff up in them clouds. Anyways, back to the ninja face. We'll give him the auto contrast look like he needs. He actually needs a green face. But that's it. Hit the comments. Tell me what you think of that, that ninja's face. And then what you think of this uh, some type of drone. Who knows who's it to? UAP, UFO. This guy's definitely a UFO. <laughs> Talk to you later. Bye, pixels. 10,200 pixels by 7,600 pixels. That's a lot of pixels. So, it's it's 2K by 1,500. So, it's a 2K thing. I could bring it up a little farther. And you'll see, the more it pixelates, the more colors in it. What I've done was I've already darkened the sky a little bit. So, I want you to see it. Now, the cloud itself has its own kind of life, right? Look at that. Just let me show you a little bit. Let's bring some clarity. Clarity just kind of brings the outline on everything. I like this cloud. But because of the way this cloud looks, um, I'm looking at this thing very close. Now, we're pretty far up. It looks like a propeller in the back. It looks like a flying eagle. Now, I got a picture of a church that had something like this that was on a like metal rod that kind of bing-bonged around looked like an eagle flying 
Well, if you look at this, it's not a bug, guys. Okay? What's in the front there? Now, this is, you know, you're maximized. You're not zoom. Zoom stretches the pixels. Don't zoom stuff. You see the, um, the, the, the color around it. Okay, I'm going to go right back to the original, right? Because that was the original 4K, right? So there's a full, whole 4K picture. And what I'm going to do, I'll show you how I got that real quick. Get all the clarity. Contrast, I bring it almost all the way down. That gives you the white lines because it actually brightens it. You know what I'm going to do is bring the shadows and highlights all the way down. It's going to give you some good good activity. I like this right here. This area. Now bring the shadows all the way down. Here's where your sky starts taking a different look. So there's a lot of processing going on right there. Let me see. I'll take the brightness down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it a little bit closer as I bring the brightness down. Just a little bit at a time. Exposure, um, I pretty much left it. Check out this dude's face right there. <laughs> I can see it. That's pretty dynamic looking. Now this thing is something... Uh, my take is not a bug. My take is this thing behind its propeller. This is... Um, Filter a little bit so you get that white line, but it's not CGI. It looks like an eye or a bull's eye, and a, like maybe a simulation of a bird's head. So is this like, I don't know, look how high that is up there for the picture, up by that cloud. Um, this could be some kind of military drone. Check out this guy's head. This is like Ninja Turtle Samurai. That's some scary ass looking thing. Oops, excuse my language. That's scary. <laughs> that one. <laughs> Green and purple monster eater. That one looks like some horror flick. Anyways. Um, and down here, if you haven't seen this one, I gotta show him off. Now, I don't, this one's got his tongue out or something. Got a cigar in his mouth. I don't try to find this stuff, people. It just pops out. It just pops out. You know, Ephesians 6 talks about, you know, uh, Prince Power's power of spiritual wickedness in high places. So is this some kind of ship in here throwing out some CGI or is this actually creatures and some kind of alien ship? I don't know. I'm just using my imagination, but it's not a bug because the bug don't have a flat head and an eagle. If that's an eagle flying that high with wings that look that weird, that's like petals petals on a on a daisy you see this kind of how it has that look like a propeller right all right I'll tell you what i'm gonna do i'll be right back Don't 